Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com, the Teach Yourself Excel section, lesson number 12. This is on dates. Now, a date in Excel is quite special. Once you understand it, it's very, very easy to use, and it's just important to understand that a date is, in fact, a number. If you want to follow along with this, you go to ExcelExperts.com, click on the Teach Yourself Excel section, choose lesson number 12 on dates. You can download the starting sheet and then read all um, about dates and follow everything step by step. That's what I'm going to do now. Go over to my spreadsheet here. So this is actually stored as a number. This is very, very clever by Excel. What number I hear, you ask? Well, number one, if I type number one in here, right click, format cells, choose custom, and then DD, MMM, Y, 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 number one is actually the 1st of Jan 1900. So Excel decided that as far as they were concerned, time starts on the 1st of Jan 1900. So that is one. If I were to add one to this, and this is the clever thing about what they've done, it tells me that it's the 2nd of Jan. I could add seven plus seven, that adds a week. I could add um, 365 approximately would add a year and if it's not a leap year. So storing a, a date as a number is very clever. Let's have a look at today's date. If I press control and colon, hit enter, that's the 9th of June 2009. If I then format this as a number, press Control Shift Hash, we see that today's date is actually 39,973 days away from 1900, the 1st of Jan 1900. And this will continue to increase as time goes on. And that's, that's basically how Excel stores a date. So all of these numbers and dates are interchangeable. So if, if I press Control Shift Hash, that formats everything as a number on that column. If I press Control Hash, it formats everything as a date. So Excel offers very good flexibility in entering dates. So if I type two, let's go back here, if I type two forward slash one, it's the 2nd of Jan. Note that it picks up today's year. So it picks up the year of today and then two forward slash one is the 2nd of the first month. So that's useful. I could also type one forward slash ju, oops, jun and that's the 1st of June. I could type one forward slash June forward slash 10, and that's the 1st of June 2010. Notice it, it knows that we're in the 21st century, so it puts that 20 there. Or I could type 1 June 2010, and that is also understood. So there's various ways that you can format a date that might be useful. So let's show you a few of those. I'll copy this down five times. So this is exactly the same date and I'm going to format it different ways. So if I right click Format Cells, Custom and choose DDMMMYY. So that's, this is my preferred date format. If you don't care about, and if you don't have any 19th century dates, then this is probably the best format. And also if you don't care about the day of the week, then use this format. The next one is adding the day of the week, TDD. So we know that it's Tuesday, 1st of June. If you don't care about the day of the week and you don't care about the year, you can just do this, DDMMM. So you just get the 1st of June. So if you're doing something that's always current and always within the current year, you can say column space because you could format that very small and it would still be viewable. Um, 
or format cells. You could just format month and year, or you could just format month. And there we go. So this is the same date in every single cell, but I've just formatted it different to display whatever is useful to the user of this. So let's go back to our expense tracker and we'll right click here, format cells, and we're going to add the day of the week. This is useful because, and then obviously increase the column width by double clicking here. This is useful to us because if we've got an expense that occurs, let's say it's eating out and it occurs on a Wednesday, but you never eat out on a Wednesday because you go to ballet or whatever. Well, that could flag that maybe someone's nicked your credit card details or something like that. So let's enter the data here, 1 Jan 06, boom, so that's a Sunday, eating out. Okay, oh, hang on, I'm not letting me, let's choose it from the drop down. Is it necessary? No, it isn't. Uh, pub, the amount was 20, and we want to go back here as well. First, Feb 07, that's a Thursday. Eating out again, I like eating out. Is it necessary? No, it isn't. And Mac EDs, and it was five. And there we go. Let's move on to the next lesson you've been listening to, xlexperts.com.